In this video, I'm going to talk about future value single sum. It's called single sum because you are only concerned with a single cash flow. And if you are reading the book, you will see that the future value or FV is equal to the present value plus the compound interest. To present this one graphically, let's say you have a two-year timeline. Your present value or PV is here while your future value or FV is here. By the way, when we say present value, this is also our principal. And to compute the future value graphically, first you need your present value or principal and then add your compound interest here. And as I mentioned in the separate video, interest is compounded differently. Given this, let's try to answer some questions. You are given a present value of 100 pesos. Your rate is 10% compounded annually, meaning you compute your interest once per year. And then your time is 2 years. You are tasked to compute the future value. To present this, let's do the timeline. So you have 2 years. Here you have the present value of 100 and you are missing the future value right here. And then for the rate, it's 10%. And you do it once every year. And since we already have the principal here or the present value, we just need to compute our compound interest. So let's compute the compound interest year 1. So what's your principal? 100. Rate is 10%. Time is 1 because you're only doing year 1. Answer is 10 so this is the interest for year 1 and then for compounding interest year 2 your principal will now be 100 plus 10 times 10% 10 times 1 answer is 11 so your future value now is what you have right now plus your interest for 2 years answer is 121 let's have another you are given the present value of 100 rate of 10 percent compounded semi-annually meaning to compute the interest twice per year then times two years you are tasked to compute the future value to represent the problem so you're given two years you have the present value you are missing the future value and then your rate is 10 percent compounded semi-annually meaning you compute twice every year like that and since we are given the principal or the present value we are now just concerned with our interest compound interest year one and then you may want to note first six months like that but it's up to you so your principal is 100 times 10 percent still but the time here is now 6 over 12 because this is the first computation answer is 5 and then compute the about the interest still year one i will just write the next six months or last six months and since the interest is compounding here, so get 100 plus 5 times 10% times 6 over 12. The answer here is 5.25. But we are not done yet because we still have the interest for year 2. So let's continue. Compound interest year 2 this time. For the first six months, get your updated principal, 100 plus 5 plus 5.25 times 10% times 6 over 12 equals 
5.5125 Then finally, compound interest Year 2 Next 6 months Equals 100 Plus 5 Plus 5.25 Plus 5.5125 Times 10% times time 6 over 12 answer here is 5.788125 now that we already have our interest we can now compute the future value we get the principal of 100 plus our interest 5 plus 5.25 plus 5.5125 plus 5.788125 the answer is or you can just use 121.55 so 121.55 is the future value now just imagine what if the given rate is 10% compounded monthly and then you are asked to use 5 years. That's a lot of computation, right? But fortunately, we have a formula for future value. Future value is equal to the present value. This is also the principal. Multiplied by 1 plus. And then you have a fraction. Get your rate. Over... The number of compounding periods per year, then close that, and then you have an exponent here being the number of compounding periods per year times the time. This is the formula. Now let's try applying this formula to the questions before. And I place here our answers. I'll start with the first one. Future value equals. So let's just substitute. Your PV is 100. So I'll write 100. And then open. Parenthesis. 1 plus your rate is 10%. If the interest is compounded annually, the number of compounding periods per year is just 1. Raised to 1, which is the number of compounding periods, times your time, which is 2 years. The answer here is 121. Now, the second one. Future value equals 100. Open parenthesis. 1 plus. Your rate is 10%. But it is compounded semi-annually. If the interest is compounded semi-annually, the number of compounding periods per year is 2. You compute it twice. Raise to the number of compounding periods. Again, 2 times the number of years 2 the answer is 121.55 same with our answer earlier so that's how you use the formula now let's have two more questions let's try number three future value equals your present value is 1320 open one plus your rate is five percent and then compounded yearly so this is annually as well so you write one and then raised to one times the number of years four the answer here is 1604.47 now how about number four you are given a present value of 600 rate of eight percent compounded weekly meaning you compute the interest every week and then your time is 37 weeks. So future value equals your present value of 600. 1 plus your rate is 8%. If the interest is compounded weekly, the number of compounding periods per year is 52. So you also write this one in your exponent times... You have to be careful with 
37 weeks, you don't write 37 because if you write 37, that's 37 years. So you have to annualize. Instead of 37, you write 37 over 52 because in a year, you have 52 weeks. So you will cancel this and this and then the answer is 635.12 okay so that's how you use the future value single sum formula in the next video i'm going to talk about present value single sum